Previously on The Bill. I want the man who killed my son brought to justice! She called you Gabriel. Yeah. Face it, David. Your little game's over. Stay where you are! No, no! Just do what he says. Just be careful, yeah? What does he want me to do? I need to think. No! Give me the gun. Don't move! It's all right. Take it easy. We can resolve this right now, OK? If you just calm down and tell me, what is it you wanted to show me? Outside! What's outside? You're not going to use that, though, are you? You're not going to do that. So let's talk! No! Come here! No! Talk to everyone! You don't listen! <laughs> and neither do you. Oh, sorry, ma'am. Sorry. Hi, excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. Hi, hi. Where's Ross's face, the guest speaker? Mr. Barnett, hospital sodge. He's back out. Tony's driving. Oh, Oi. Where's Reg? Isn't he organising this whole thing? Yeah, he's supposed to be MC, isn't he? You know, introducing the guests and so on. Well, yeah, but where is he? At hospital with Mr. Barnett. Someone's <laughs> going to have to take his place. Oh. Preferably somebody senior. No way. <laughs> No. Oh. <laughs> what is it you want me to do? Charge the driver who killed my son. But he was driving within the speed limit. What, in a stolen car? You want me to charge him with murder? I can't. The evidence doesn't support no, him. No, you're not ducking out of this. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. But it is important that I try to understand no, exactly what's going on. No! You're understanding now. You're listening now. It's all right, come. Hmm? Don't move. Nobody move. Have you seen Superintendent Prosser? Um, upstairs last time I saw her, sir. What the hell is she doing up there? She's supposed to be here. You want me to Ladies, try and track her down, sir? Yeah, thanks. Jack! Sir! Good to see you. Good to see you both. Right, it was Superintendent's idea, sir. I'm not supposed to be here, am I? Not officially. Uh, sir! Come on. Looks like I'm doing the honours. There we go. I feel I should put a paper bag over me here. So you don't look that bad, bit of makeup. Mom. Mom. Hey, nice to see you, sir. Nice to see you back. Evening, all. <laughs> Thank you, Sheila. <clears throat> Welcome to the 50th anniversary of Sun Hill. Hey. Tony. Mom. Hands on your heads. Your place? Yes. No. We're holding a reception downstairs. Who's who? These two are guests. I was showing them around the station. Let them go. Oh, shut up! And you? Police. Police. You? Yes. Let him speak. On the floor now! Get down on the floor now! All units from Superintendent Prosser, we have an emergency. <laughs> Look, I don't know what that was, but I think everybody should say exactly where they are, OK? Uh, Sam, Smithy, you make sure nobody leaves this room, OK? Right, that was upstairs. OK, check it out, but be careful. <laughs> Take June. Yes. What's happening? I've no idea, sir. Not yet. If you could just all wait a minute. Yeah, look, the DCI's orders are for everybody to keep in here. So okay? if you go and stay exactly where you are, please, just for a second. Amber, get on the door, will you? Please just wait where you are. Tony. Thank you. Sorry. Do you want to show the slides again or something? Well, sir. Okay. Uh, like... Phil. Phil. The guy's barricaded. Let me see. I think. 
He's armed. Yeah, a handgun, according to Terry. He's in there with him. And who else? We've got Gabriel, Zane, Joe, Dan, the super. Any guests? Yeah, there's three, but there's no names yet. Well, we got a name for him. He says he's called Jeff Clark. Sarge! You okay? Yeah, fine, Gov. Jeff Clark's son was killed yesterday, RTC. You dealt with him? Yeah, a 17 year old lad called Ashley Morgan ran the boy over. Was it death by dangerous driving? No, 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 no. The car was stolen. Traffic had been all over it, but he was under the speed limit, so that's it. Listen, Clark was in a terrible state about it. He wanted Morgan done for his son's death. All right, you talk to Desnix and tell her everything you know about him. Oh, God. Phil, we need an arm response unit and negotiators. Gov. Smithy, I want this building cordoned off and an observation post set up across the road. Anyone else got one of these in the bin? Quick, phones, mobiles. Come on, don't mess me about. You, wake up. If I didn't know any better, I think you organise this. I asked you to give me time. Time for what? OK. I used your ID so I could work in this place. I told you I'm going to come clean. But I'm getting married. And I don't want you to find out from anyone else, OK? If we get the chance, maybe we should. No. Mom, Lee's already fired the weapon. I don't know. Maybe. Damn. We sit tight. Let the negotiators do their job. It's not going anywhere. Quiet. Gov, I'm going to set up a temporary CID. That's good thinking, Sam. Right, we've got officers outside. Yeah, the road's being called it off now, Gov. What about the observation post? Gov, the building next door looks right onto CID in the yard. Shall I check it out? Yeah, take June with you. Gov. Attack. We're going to try and get this one out. Well, if he goes on the rampage, we can't defend him, can we? Look, if I could just have everyone's attention, please! Just wait for a moment, please! Oh, 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 People will get hurt. Thank you. Now, if you'd like to make your way slowly that way, officers will take you carefully out of the building. Sorry, not my job. OK, Mom. OK, first three, you, sir, please. This way. Stay now. Stay close to the wall, wait for time, OK? Absolute silence. Go, go. Stay close to the wall. Stay close to the wall. This young Meadows from 5 4 receiving. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, he was on the balcony though, Gov. He's found that he's got it covered. Okay, received. Right, tell all units, no one is to go in or out of this building, okay? Not until the armed officers are on the scene. Look, sir, can you follow me? Clark's made contact. Phone, Cabot transferred it to the incident room. Right, what about negotiators? I don't know, DS Hunter's on to it. He's only just called them, hasn't he? Probably nowhere near yet. They'll be coming from all over. Mr. Clark, this is Detective Chief Inspector Jack Meadows. OK, listen to me, this is it. Simple. I want Ashley Morgan charged with the death of my son. No, I've already said this is not up for discussion. No, you have to do your job. Somebody has to take responsibility. Now, all I want is justice get for my son. Get Everybody, get out! Go for the doors! Go! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Actually told him to well, go Dan, for the gun. Said, Dan, go for the gun. Ram, back up, negotiators. You think Jeff Clark's in the mood for a chat, do you? A man has been shot. You weren't there, DCI Meadows. You are in no position to pass judgment. Sam, Yvonne. So what we got so far? Well, nothing we don't already know. What about the observation post? Sergeant Ackland and DC Sim are setting it up and we've called for an ambulance. There's no way we can get to the injured man. Gunman's not moving from the landing. Oh. PC Casper? Looks like he's been hit too. Terry Perkins is taking care of him best he can. So who we got down there, sir? Who's got visual? Just DS Hunter, front office. Can I go and join him, Gov? Yeah. Where's Gabriel? We should have sat tight, shouldn't I? Let Frost to take the flag. Don't worry. You're gonna be okay. I'm gonna have to go down to him. No! You can't just leave him there, he's gonna bleed to death. Come on, man, please. I'm going down. No! Out of my way. I'm not just gonna stand here and watch him die. Well, go on then, big man. Do it. Shoot me. Yes. Ah! 
Superintendent Prosser, obviously, until someone more senior arrives. Do you have a problem with that? Yeah. I think it calls for a cool head. Not someone who'd tell an unarmed PC to tackle a gunman. Whatever you're saying, this is not the time. So when is, sir? Uh, Prosser doesn't have the support of the officers here. And if this isn't handled properly, we're going to end up with more casualties. Adam, have we got no beyond the CID office yet? Yeah, absolutely. Sergeant Ackland and DCPC managed to get out. They're onto it. Good. You got a problem, Joe? No, ma'am. 5-4 from 4-8 receiving. Go ahead. We've established the OP in the building on Shipley Street, first floor. I see the window. What's happening with Clark? He's keeping his head down. Hopefully he'll stay that way till CO19 get here. Sarge, your ambulances have arrived. Oh. Where are you, Smithy? I'm at the cordon west side with PC Stamp and Valentine. The ambulances have just arrived, sir. OK, stand by. We're going to have to negotiate safe passage for them with Clark. Yeah. Well, he's not going to respond to me, is he? If you want access for the ambulance, the answer's no. Hang on a sec. I let you bring a vehicle up the building. I don't know what's inside. It could be anything. Armed officers... Listen, uh, I'm thinking. You've got the stairs covered. Uh, if they come in that way, they'll be committing suicide. Listen, he's a civilian. He's got nothing to do with this. I said no vehicles. OK, um, tell him two paramedics and a stretcher. Tell him that. Come on, man. OK, no ambulance, just the paramedics. Two paramedics only. You're running out of time. Terry. Listen, when I give you the nod, you get his attention. Uh, Jeff, you mind if I call you that? Jeff, what is that, that gun? I don't recognise it. Why? I was just, I've seen a lot of weapons. Uh, I've never seen one like that before. Is it a military gun? You ex army, Jeff. Got a file on me, have you? No, it's just the way you organise yourself, handle a weapon. Is that a military gun? So, what is it, like, like a trophy weapon? Something you picked up somewhere, a tour of duty? Listen, I read that in Afghanistan and Iraq, these weapons are lying around everywhere. People pick them up, you know. Military personnel, they take them home as souvenirs. Is that right? Jeff, the paramedics are coming in that way. The ambulances are over there. Didn't you hear the sirens? I'm not looking for the paramedics. Jeff, what are the chances of getting out, him out of here in, in an ambulance? He needs something to stop the bleeding. Look, I've got a... Uh, First aid kit in my drawer, can I get that? Okay. Well, back off. All right. On him. No. I'm going to see where they are. All right, I'll take over. If you need to do anything, you do it in the ambulance. We're not hanging around here. OK, let's go as fast as we can. Stop CPR. Okay. OK. And over we go. And on my count, one, two, three. Oh. Right. I'll go very with him, Russell. Very faint. He might come round, get some ID. Okay. The negotiators are on their way, ma'am, but they have to get across town from Richmond. How long? Nine at the earliest. Isn't there anyone nearer? We do actually have a train negotiator in the station. 
Do we? Inspector Gold. She's suspended. There's going to be an inquiry into this whatever. Seems absurd not to use the resources we've got, doesn't it? Absolutely. Jack, do you want to get hold of Samantha? Sure. Shall we? Okay. Amber. Do you recognise that guy stood up over there? No, but I've made a list of names though, yeah. I knew I'd seen him before. He's a local journalist. This must be the biggest scoop of his life. Excuse me. Gina! Gina! Well, we didn't guess, did you? This way. I'll explain on the way. Your son's mother. Does she know what happened? So where is she? On holiday. Greece. Right, so you were looking after Jake while she was away. I want this sorted out before she gets back. What time is it? Is that clock right? At 20 past eight. You think your wife would be worried about Ashley Morgan? No. But I am. Won't bring Jake back, will it? No, none of this needed to have happened. Don't you turn away from me! If we don't walk out of here, it won't be my fault. All right, man, take it easy, will you? It won't be down to me. With respect, Mum. One minute you want me suspended, and the next thing you want me to take this lot on. None of that is relevant. Not in this situation. I shouldn't even be in the building. Gina. They're your friends. Colleagues. Oh, cheers. Thanks for that. And I can do without the emotional blackmail. Only until the negotiators arrive. We need to keep in contact. Give Terry a chance. Sir, you wanted to see me? Yeah, what do we know about Clark's background? Well, only what PC Valentine's told me. Um, he's recently separated from his wife, his ex-army. OK, talk to Inspector Gold. Uh, which regiment? Don't know, but he served his full time out. He finished on a tour of Iraq last Christmas, and he was actually looking after his son Jake, eight years old when the accident it, happened. I know all that, but where's the wife? On her way back from Greece. Holiday. She was due at Heathrow at 6.30. Incident room. Could be at her house by now. Let's get a car down there. Gov. Mom, um, that was CAD. Uh, CO19 have arrived. We've got armed officers on scene. Mom? Jeff, he's in pain. I need to make him comfortable. Is that all right? Put him in a chair. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm going to put the first aid kit back in my drawers. Is that all right? Side of the building, Sarge. Is that you, Mr. Clark? Yeah. Um, I'm a hostage negotiator. My name is Inspector Gina Gold. Now, I'm not even going to pretend that I understand how you feel, okay? But what I want us to do together is to try and find a peaceful solution to this. Time's getting on, Inspector. What do you mean? Time's running out. I don't understand. What are you trying to say? Mr. Clark? Look, I've told you what I want. And we're doing everything we can to make that possible. The investigation is still open. It's still ongoing. Not according to your superintendent, Prosser, is it? Listen to me. Either you take responsibility and charge Ashley Morgan, or I'm going to be forced to deal with him myself. How's he going to do that? What is he talking about? Mom, we've contacted Clark's wife. She's arrived home and the car's on its way around to pick her up now. So where does this boy live? Ashley. Hey, Garth Court. Well, maybe we should get a car around there, make sure he's OK. I'll get somebody onto it.
What was that? He's chucking the phones out the window. Post-cardiac arrest on scene. He's got a phone shot to the abdo, fall from height. He had a GCS of three on arrival. Vice Mayor of CPR managed to regain the pulse Gabriel, at 80. Gabriel, the man's not even conscious. Come on. 80. Come on. He's got some... He's crashing! That's VF. Everyone stand clear. What are you going to do if your wife wants to speak to you? She won't want to. Is that what this is all about? Stop analysing me, OK? Trying to find some reason, huh? My wife, the war, did it send me crazy? Was I abused as a child? No, OK? Good. Fancy yourself as a bit of a shrink, don't you? Hmm? Yeah. Nice bloke. Somebody people can talk to. Well, you're not the only one who can piece people together. So I look at you. Doesn't take a genius, does it? To read you. You married? No. You? Not anymore. Kids? Two. Still see them? Still involved? No. <laughs> right. What, no time or um, better off without you? Wait, you don't want to confuse them. Better off with Mum. Something like that. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, mate. Truly. You ought to hang your head in shame. OK, received over. Looks like Clark's just bunged every phone in CID out the window. Oh. Cut off all communication. Terry. Where'd you get the radio from? Talk to him. No. You respond, you'll give him away. Clark will be able to hear. Come on, Jeff. You accuse people of not listening to you. Well, come on. Talk to me. Come on, no one else can hear. Gina, talk to him. DC Perkins from Sierra Oscar, are you receiving? Terry, can you hear me? It's Gina Gold. Yeah. Why don't you take a look around you? Dan's been hit. He's bleeding. He's going to be okay, but we need to get him out of here. That door stays shut. You're not thinking clearly. You say you want this guy charged, but how do you know if they're going to do it? You pulled out all the telephones. How can anyone communicate with you? Well, they can send me a bloody email. Terry, we need information, the layout of the room, and Clark's position. Tell him not to move too far from that radio body pack, or we'll lose the reception. We need to keep this channel clear, sir. Yeah, everyone onto channel two, including us. I'll get that actioned. Good. Do you want to let them know that the heavy boy's here? Yeah. Give him something positive. Terry. They have to be made to use the evidence they've got. What evidence? There's evidence. What are you talking about? This is a whitewash. Stop prowling around. Sit down. Yeah, th th this kid's family, right? His father. What about Think him? about it. Yeah? Black guy. Yeah, good job. This kid steals a car, kills a white kid. Well, you lot don't want that all over the papers, do you? You end up with a race riot. You're paranoid, mate. It makes no sense. Oh, that's good to see you. Come on, I'll take you through. You have to do, won't you? Party or something? Yeah. Don't know who booked the entertainment, no. There's another ambulance on standby for PC Casper, sir. Good. PC Valentine's on the phone. Cad's transferring the call in here. Superintendent Prosser, go ahead. I'm um, at Ashley Morgan's house. Somebody's We've got another problem. Boring. There's been a break-in. His that? father's here. He's just got home from work as I arrived on scene. Oh, Mother's away. Nice. Now, apparently, Ashley's been in the house all day on his own. So where is the boy now, then? Roger, is Ashley there with you? No, sir. He should be here. Ashley's not here. Not to leave the house. There's no sign of him. Sir. Ashley's missing. Roger said break him. He didn't say Clark had kidnapped the boy. Yeah, but until we know differently, that's the assumption we're making. Look, you said kidnapped, sir. The guy's armed. He's used a gun. Not on Ashley, though. I don't think he's done that. He said he wanted us to charge him. If not, he threatened to deal with him himself. That suggests to me that he's holding the boy. Question is where? Well, the obvious place is his house. OK. Let's get the place searched. Sir. Terry, 
We've got a complication. There's been a break in at Ashley Morgan's house and the boy's missing. We think there's a possibility that Clark might have kidnapped him. And remember he said something about time running out? Yeah, yeah. He said something about time running out. Who for? Is he talking about Ashley? Terry. <laughs> Jeff, he needs attention. He's all right. I've seen worse. Oh, really? Where was that? Why? Iraq. So what, you, uh... You lose colleagues out there, friends, maybe? You know what? No one took responsibility for that either. No one admitted they got that one wrong, did they? Carry on, Terry. Yeah? You entertain yourself. No, really. You go and fight a war with weapons of mass destruction and all that, I mean... It must have seemed like a just cause. Wasn't right, though, was it? Wasn't true, it was in fact a pack of lies, and they all got away with it. Not one person took responsibility. That's enough. Listen, mate. You soak it up out there. You lose friends. It's part of the job, I understand that. But then you come home, and someone you love dies, and it's the same. They say it's no one's fault. I said shut your mouth. I mean, I could sympathize with that. Can't you, Dan? Absolutely. I'd feel the same. I'd be angry. People die for no reason. Yeah. My son. And Ashley Morgan, what about him? Jeff. This could be as far as we go. We could all die in here. And I'm looking at you and I'm thinking, you know what? I'd actually like to know why. I'm right in what I'm saying, aren't I? You just don't know, do you? You haven't got a clue. Come on, let's keep a lid on this. We need to focus on getting Dan out of there. This military connection, we need more background. I'll see how DS Nixon's getting on with that. Is not like Your neighbours said they heard shouting and a car screeching away. What time? Around 7.30, they looked out the window, but the car was gone. Well, this man Clark, he's already had a go at Ashley. This afternoon, he came to the house. He's just lost his son. Look, we don't know that's what's happened here. Then where's Ashley? Where's my boy? Well, it's possible he could simply be at a friend's. No, no, his mobile phone switched off. He was frightened to leave the house. No, I'm sorry. I can't just wait around here. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. You see, this man Clark, he's a nutcase. Ashley stole a car. He killed his child. No, no, th th that was an accident. There was no remorse. That was an accident! You don't know my boy. Where are you going? I've got to find him. All right, all right, listen to me. I'll drive you to Sunhill. There are some things you need to know. Please. Please. Come on, man, now what? What are you doing? What's next? What's the time? I've just gone 25 to 9. Jeff, what are you looking for? What is he doing? Where are we? The target's on the balcony. Right, give me some room now, please. Listen to me! We're running out of time! I know you're there! OP to control, receiving. I can't... Wait! Much longer! Do you hear me? Sergeant Rollins is in You're position. You're running out of time! Clear sight. The shot is on. What do you want us to do, Mum? Sir, there's no sign of Ashley Morgan at Clark's house. Right. Stand by. The neighbours heard a car screeching away. Roger's on his way in now with the boy's father. If Sergeant Rollins has the shot, he should take it. We have two officers in there. There's no time! Still clear sight, Mum. Mum? I don't know. We still don't know what Clark's done with Ashley Morgan. What about our officers? You take him out, we might not find the boy. It's your decision. Negative, I repeat, negative. Stand by. Can I talk to you, please? Look, I know I'm officially the officer in charge here, but this situation is exposed where people's loyalties lie. I don't understand. The team naturally looks to you, myself included. We both know who's really running this, and I think it's about time we made it official. If that's what you want. I've already spoken to the borough commander, and he's in agreement. This is your station, Adam. You should be back here running it. <laughs> surprise, surprise. No one's listening. No. Because, Jeff, so far, it's just been a series of demands. There's no negotiation. What do you mean? 
Well, if you want them to listen to you, you've got to give them something. Make them believe you're worth talking to. Well, like what? Okay. You don't need the two of us here, do you? If you want them to listen to you, make a gesture. Let Dan go. Gabriel, the man's in no position to talk. You should get yourself seen to. I will in a bit. Do you want anything? You can get me a drink if you like. You there. What I did was wrong, no question. But I need you to keep your big mouth shut. Because I'm not going to let you destroy my future. Do you understand me? Do you understand? The officers have checked Clark's house and work. There's nothing, sir. There's no sign of the boy. OK. The Morgan's house. Neighbours heard sounds. Car pulling away. Presumably Clark owns a car, does he? Yes, sir. A Peugeot. No sign of that either. Not of the house. No, because maybe he drove to the Morgan's, took Ashley and then drove away. Straight here. So what time was he at the Morgan's? Uh, 7.30 and here before 8, so yeah, timings work out. Sierra Oscar 52 from 298 receiving. Go ahead. Sir, we've got something happening in CID. OK, on my way. Well, if the timings work out, then maybe the boy's still in the car. Yeah, park somewhere near here. OK, let's get the surrounding streets checked out as fast as we can. Jack, get that information to Gina, will you? Right. Dan's coming out. The door's going to open on three. One, two, three. Dan, come here. You're all right. You're all right. Come on. Come on. You OK? Get him to an ambulance. Sir. OK, lock the door. OK. Right, move the desk back. Move away. And sit there. OK. So. Just you and me now, yeah? Happy? What I don't get is, uh, why come here? Why haven't you gone after Ashley Morgan? I mean, surely you should be targeting him, shouldn't you? Listen to you, eh? Why, why, why? Why that seat, Terry? You always sit there. Hey? All these others, look. What's so special about that one? I don't know, my seat, my desk. My seat, my desk. <laughs> Something else. You always ask the right questions. You know that. No disrespect. But you're not the brightest star in the galaxy, are you? No great thinker. Terry, we're searching the streets around the station for Clark's car. We think maybe that's where he could be holding Ashley. So what do you know about Ashley Morgan? Just what you told me. Shh, 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 shh. Don't say anything more. Just let him settle. Don't draw attention to this. Oh, come on, man. Don't... What? Be paranoid? <laughs> I'll be hearing voices next, won't I? Hmm? Or is that you? Somebody whispering in your ear. Stand up. Stand up! Take it out. Oh, oh, oh. Take it out. OK, OK. Look easy. There it is. Yeah? Yeah. Terry? Terry! Oh. Terry! Terry! Yeah, yeah, the cordon's set, but could you just, just go back for me, please, yeah? 
Yeah, we're just starting to search the local streets for Clark's car, up to and including the car park. Over. Look, could you just please go and wait for us over there? Please, Really appreciate wait. your cooperation. Thanks. Come on. Anything? CO19 taking control of the building. Thinking is. Clark's got the boy locked in his car somewhere. Maybe local. Who's that? Clark's wife. What are you done with him, Jeff? Officers have been to Ashley's house. I know you got him somewhere. What'd he do, man? He wind you up, wouldn't admit he was guilty. Yeah, do you know what happens to people like that in the real world? No, go on. Oh, the Yanks, right? They caught this bomber in Fallujah, but they couldn't break him. So they put him in the boot of a car and told him they'd wired it. Yeah, left him there for three days to think about it. And when he got out, he could kind of see their point of view. Oh! We've lost radio contact with Terry. Clark's on to him. Is he OK? I don't know. Where are we with Clark's car, Sarge? Still searching. OK, listen. Sergeant Agnes said he keeps going out onto the CID balcony, right? Just standing looking. Yeah. Now, what can he see from there? Where's he looking? There's no car park that way, is there? No, just, uh, Shipley Street. DC Sim from DS Nixon, are you receiving over? Go ahead, Sarge. Do you have a view east down Shipley Street? Yep. I is, do. There, is there a car park there? Yeah, one. An old Peugeot. Index? I can't see it. Definitely a Peugeot, though. It's a 406. You've spoken to him, have you? Not personally, no. We've got someone in there with him, though. What does he think's going to happen? This is going to put it all back together. I, I know there's a lot for you to take in. Where is Jake? I'd like to see him. Yeah, yeah, of course. Before we take you, though, there are some things that we need to ask you. I'm not a couple anymore. Don't live together. I have nothing to do with him. No, we realise that. <laughs> it was an accident, wasn't it? Yes, but Jeff won't accept that. Who's that man? His son was driving the car. Makes no sense to me. Why was Jake there? He's allowed onto the street, but that's it. He's not allowed outside the square. I told him that. Jeff knows that. Kids don't always do what they're told, you know. Not Jake. He's nervous. Doesn't like being shouted at or told off. Do anything to please. How are we going to get to his car? We get armed officers to escort us around the building. There's no other way into that street, not round the back. It's a dead end. Well, we can't exactly walk down it, can we? Where are the keys for that? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Hang on a minute. If the kid is in that car, what kind of estate is he going to be in? We can't afford to hang around. Phil? Come on. Phil! Where is he now? He's over there somewhere, Governor. Has he got a radio in the car? Yes, he has. DS Hunter from DS Nixon, are you receiving? Over. Phil, are you receiving? Over. Phil! Is that the balcony? 
No, it's clear. Come on. Come on. They're going to make a move? No. This is it. No, Jeff, you've got to stop this. Please, please, listen to me. Look, there isn't even an official negotiator in the scene yet. Shut up! You've been talking to someone! No. Yes! It's just an inspector from here. Look, they're trying to play it cool. They're, they're waiting for the main man, you know, the proper negotiator to arrive. Jeff, have you got that kid in the, your car, have you? Have you? Get back. Six thirty. She's probably here now in the building. She'll be grieving too, won't she? And now she's got this to do with. You don't know anything, all right? Well, Judging me. I know that Ashley Moore was not responsible. You don't have to be the brightest star in the galaxy to know that. For God's sake! No, you know that already. That you don't. You don't have to tell you that. You just haven't got the bottle to face it. You don't know. What don't I know? I've watched you, I've talked to you. What don't I know? Tell me, tell me, come on. There's no time. For what? He killed Jake. For what? For Ashley? No time for Ashley? Yeah, he killed Jake. No. He killed my son! No! You want revenge, do you? Is that what you want? Do you really think it's going to change anything? Why can't you just be honest with yourself? Oh, don't you! What? Say it like it is! You can't admit that Ashley Morgan's innocent, can you? No way can you do that. Do you know why? Because if Ashley Morgan wasn't in fault, then someone else was. Look at me. Look at me! You talk about responsibility. Well, you can blame other people as much as you like, mate, because in the end, it all comes down to you. No! Yes! Jake was in your care. Your wife left him with you. You're responsible. Now, where's Ashley? Where is he? Won't budge! She's unlocked. Shh. Ashley! Jake lived with his mum, didn't he? He's always been here with me, though. It was for his future. I know that, mate. What about the other boy? What about his future? He was driving a stolen car, wasn't he? I mean, he shouldn't have been there. Yeah, but neither should Jake, should he? I mean, what was an eight-year-old boy doing out on a main road on his own? I mean, you're responsible, Dad, aren't you? You wouldn't let him out. What happened? Come on. I don't know. God. <laughs> Nothing. You know, he broke something messing about, you know. My phone. I, th I told him off, I lost it with him a bit. I shouted. <laughs> and he... He started crying. I hit him. I... I, I said I was sorry, you know. I went to hug him, but... <laughs> he was so frightened. What did he do? He ran out of the street? Yeah, he did. What did you think you were going to do coming here? I got Ashley Morgan and I put him in the car and I, and I drove here. To see the superintendent? Yeah, they got, I, I thought, you know, she would do what I wanted and I had this... I, oh, God. Go on. I was going to take her out to the car. Show her the boy. To try and force her hand or something. Yeah. And if she didn't do what you wanted? I was gonna get into the I was gonna get into the car with him. And? I was gonna take him with me. What you mean blow it up? Oh no, Jeff. Don't tell me that car's wide. Please don't tell me that. Just for your information, 
Crosser wants out. I'm coming back to work. Gina, I want you back here with me. Oh, no. Sir, this way. Gordon. Oh, I want to... I want to speak to my wife! All units from Sierra Oscar. Target is on the move, exiting CID. He's on the landing, top of the front stairs. Stand by. If you put the gun down, we can talk. He's not going to use a gun. He won't do that. My put, wife! Put that gun down or we go nowhere. But information about Ashley. You put the gun down and back away. He's can't fly. It's a timer. we got to find it, Governor, now. Oh, Just tell my wife that I love her. And I'm sorry. Don't be stupid. Listen, he's not going to shoot. He's not going to do that. Please listen to me. <sighs> All units from 298 Room Persia, 406 Index Number Sierra, 642 Juliet, Yankee, Yankee. Is it the boat? Do not approach the vehicle. It is possible it may be one of these explosives. Received. And the boy! And Ashley? Needs an ambulance, but yeah, he's alive. Get off him. If you think I'm going to step away, think again. Just put the gun down, man. You think they'd let me walk the streets after this? I wouldn't want to anyway. Listen, I'm not going to hurt you. You know that, Panya? Don't do this, man, please. Go see your kids, Terry. Shut up! Take it! On the bill. Well, it came in saying his name was Gabriel Kent. You said what? I'll do what I want. I don't have to answer to you. No, you don't. We're here to see Kath Wilson. Will you get your hand up the door? Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Well done, guys. Superb effort. Next up here on One, a real birthday treat as ITV scratches that seven-year itch when it catches up with the 49-uppers. Over on Two, can Nicolas Cage steal 50 top-of-the-range motors? Well, if he does, he can give one to me. Toys for the boys in the action drama Gone in 60 Seconds. And on ITV3, they're touching evil. <laughs>